America is not a racist country. I would like to thank my subscribers for sending this story to me. Several of you actually sent this story, so thank you. Let me just talk straight off the cuff. Ladies and gentlemen, whenever black people go to jail and they complain about the conditions or they want to get out, what do they say? Well, you shouldn't have committed the crime. Then you wouldn't be in jail, right? They, they say all that stuff, right? You notice when their people are winding up a storm, you notice how they don't say those same words to their own that's behind bars? They don't have nothing to say. This is why you should always dismiss that kind of stuff from them. And these folks are the last ones on the entire planet that should be talking to somebody about crime. Oh, my defense attorney didn't defend me right. I want another attorney. Oh, I want a new trial. Oh, the conditions in jail are so bad. Oh, I'm going to appeal. They never stop whining the whole time they're in jail. Look at these insurrectionists. And look at all these, oh, you, you got, what's that uh, Chansley guy? Oh, he needs a new trial. They never stop whining. But they got the nerve to say stuff to black people about not committing a crime and ended up in jail. Man, you need to bring all of this up. Bring up how these insurrectionists have been whining. Bring up Amber Geiger and all of these people. When they go behind bars, they never stop. They be crying like toddlers the whole time. So, no, don't let them get away with saying that. All right. So this is the Atlanta Black Star. November 21st, twenty. 21. A second appeal made on the behalf of Amber Geiger, the former Dallas police officer that was convicted of killing Botham John in his home, has been denied yet again by the Texas Fifth Court of Appeals, and she should be denied. Trust me, if Botham would have killed her, he would be in there for the rest of his life because society falsely Try to make you believe people like her are worth more. Their lives are worth more when it's a load of BS and a bunch of lies. It's crap they made up and nothing more than that. Made up junk. So she got this 10-year sentence, a 10-year sentence that does it don't even fit the crime that she committed. And we all know she ain't going to be in there for the whole 10 years. They're going to make sure they get her out earlier than that. And she has not stopped whining the entire time. Now, when you reflect back on this case, first of all, who walks in a damn apartment or break in or rob an apartment and they sit down and have a bowl of ice cream? Number two, how can you compare her apartment to Botham's when she abruptly and the Dallas Police Department assisted her in moving out immediately after the shooting? So you didn't even get a comparison shot saying, okay, the apartments do look similar. You don't have none of that. She got this feather light sentence and still crying and whining all the way. Unbelievable. So we know her apartment was on the third floor. Botham's apartment was on the fourth. And we also know from the footage and the 911 call, she was only concerned about herself. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my apartment. Ah. I mean, didn't even try to do CPR on this man. The police that showed up and eventually the EMTs, they were the ones. He was still alive when she was whining and carrying on about her life 
on 911 instead of giving this man CPR. And even the cops that were on that same de- uh, police department said she knew CPR. Some of them went to the academy with her. If you remember, there was a black officer that took the stand and said they were in the police academy at the same time. And she definitely learned CPR. And she didn't do nothing. Talking about some appeal to get out. Girl, please. Okay, so Geiger and her team contended that the use of deadly force was reasonable and using that strategy to appeal for rehearing. The courts of appeal denied their petition. All right. So they did not, it was a panel of three judges and they did not agree with their reasoning in order to get her out of jail. Mm, mm, mm. So they also rejected her notion that evidence supported her being convicted of a criminally ne- uh, negligent homicide rather than murder. Mm-mm. So she's trying to overturn her entire conviction. Now she did this the first time because I did a video on her first appeal. She wanted her whole case thrown out and that got denied. So this is the second time she should not be able to appeal again. Just sit your butt in there and do that little bit of time that you got. You should be glad 10 years was all you got for taking somebody's life over nothing. Amber Geiger's trial made headlines for a number of reasons, creating a deep divide in Dallas along color lines. Three days after the shooting on September 6th, she was arrested on manslaughter. Remember, they let her turn herself in. She was never arrested. She turned herself in, remember? And she went to another jurisdiction and she was out all what in like what an hour she wasn't in there very long i think it was maybe an hour and then her location was undisclosed all the way leading up to the trial nobody knew where amber geiger were they were hiding her the dallas police and the texas rangers were down there hiding her All right, and we know her hearing went on for about a week and the grand jury who's still full of shit didn't even give her the appropriate sentence. So during a 33 minute Zoom hearing with the justices and what they're saying is uh, you're overlooking the fact that Ms. Geiger testified that she intended to shoot John and she did, I remember that. Her team pushed back, but was met with a rebuttal from Justice Lana Meyer. There has to be evidence negating the intent to kill. She did sit on that stand and said she did intend to kill him. If you remember, she did a shot to the head, but that missed and went into the wall. And then she did a shot to the chest, which they call a double tap. They learned that in the police academy, and that's how she killed him. So when you shoot, where you're aiming for a head and aiming for a chest, you intended to kill that person. So you already admitted that on the stand. Why should you get out early? Boy, what a big baby. So... Mm -mm -mm. So in her uh, appeal, as usual, she's still claiming self-defense up in an apartment that she barged into. So, you know what? I'm glad she was denied and I hope she doesn't get any more appeals. So they are standing on the decision made in the original court where Tammy the Mammy was presiding over, and that ruling will stand, whether 
this dummy right here, like it or not. So Geiger will continue to serve the remaining seven years of her sentence and is eligible for parole in 2024. Okay, so Botham Jean was in 2018 and she'll be getting out at least up for parole in 2024. That's not even 10 years. That's not even 10 years. unbelievable. So ladies and gentlemen, I feel nothing like Tareen Rain always says for Amber Geiger. Amber Geiger need to shut up, stop whining and do her time. We don't need to see her again for real. Okay. And with this, it was self-defense. I didn't do anything wrong. You took a life. You took a life. And like I said, and, and, and then he had a red mat outside of his door. They said she didn't have that. There were plenty of indicators that should have told her she was on the wrong floor. And they said, even when you come off the elevator and go down the hall, you can see the numbers on the door. So there's no way that was all an oversight. You didn't notice that the numbers on the doors were different from the floor you were on? I mean, none of it makes sense. I don't feel sorry for this woman. Sit there and do your time. And like your people say, if you don't want to be in jail, then don't do the crime. You know, it's amazing. Why don't y'all start saying that to your own people? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.